there, Improv Tipsters. Welcome back to Improv Tips, where I and some of the best improvisers in the world give you improv tips and advice to make you a better, more confident, and happier improviser wherever you are in your improv journey. I am, as always, your host, Paul Valancourt. Let's begin. Today's fantastic guest improv tipper is Elizabeth Byland, or as we call her, EB to her friends. She is absolutely delightful. She is really a fun improviser, brings so much joy and enthusiasm to everything she does. It's just a delight to work with her, which I've had the occasion to do work with her and her duo partner, Ding Ding Jambianchi, and they are just great together and as individuals. Um, EB is a college professor, fancy. She sits on the board of directors for the Comedy Sports Richmond, fancy. She's a co-founder of Queen City Comedy, also very fancy. On and on, I can go through all of her fancy credits, but you can read them, ding, ding, down below. Her tip today uh, has to do with uh, sort of the life of being an improviser. Like, it's tough sometimes, man. It's not all it's not all flowers and gravy, that's not a saying. Kind of reminds me a little bit of this tip, ding, ding, from Katie Shute. Um, and it's, uh, it's really about sort of like getting yourself through those hard times and remembering the great times. I think you're really going to enjoy it. It's really going to help you out in the long, big scope of your improv career. If you're enjoying the improv tips, consider leaving a like and a comment down below. Add something to discussion. Let's make it a resource for everybody. And also, if you really want to get the improv tips as they come out, consider subscribing. That would be absolutely fantastic, and I would love it. Without any further ado, though, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy Elizabeth Bylan. Okay, so here is my improv tip. I present to you the jar of awesome. So let me explain. Um, I don't know if you all are like me, but sometimes it's difficult to remember the positive moments that we experience in improv. Sometimes it kind of just feels like just a general wash of, yeah, you know, some, some really good things happened uh, in the last couple of years of doing improv. Yeah, we had virtual shows and virtual uh, festivals and uh, global improv teams and learning new forms. But even, even, you know, the tiny little details we often forget, like that time when you uh, learned a brand new form and at first it was really difficult and maybe you were a bit in your head and then there was just that one practice you know, that one practice, that one moment where suddenly it just clicked. Or maybe there was a show where you were in front of a sold out crowd, whether it was online or in person. Maybe there was a show where somebody reached out to you and they said, oh, thank you so much for this set tonight. I was in kind of a crummy mood and then when I came to the theater and I watched you, I watched your team, it just totally changed my outlook on things. You know, those, those little tiny moments we so easily gloss over them and uh, and we have a tendency or I have a tendency to focus a lot on you know on the hard stuff right it's easy for us to get kind of caught up in the challenges the struggles the frustrations the frustration of trying to get ourselves acquainted with being back in person again and just how like Maybe it just kind of feels like you're trudging through mud. Or maybe you're in an improv funk. I know that I've had a lot of improv funks over the years and uh, trying to just keep pushing through and just kind of keep moving forward or even taking a break. And you know, it's, 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 a, um, it's a craft that has lots of ups and downs. So I am presenting to you all the Jar of Awesome. So what you do is you, maybe your team or your duo partner, you get together and you write down on little pieces of paper all of the really specific moments. You know the ones that you might forget about? You start writing those down and you put them in your jar of awesome. So the time when you headlined a festival and it was just like the best most satisfying, most joyful set ever. Or maybe the time when you were struggling with dialects and learning dialects with character work and then you had the courage to initiate it in a show. Those, those are your jar of awesome moments. Start writing those down, put them on a little piece of paper, you put it in the jar, and then on the days where it feels tough, 
on the days where you feel like you're trudging through mud, on the days where you feel like you're in sort of that improv slump, and all you can focus on is the frustrating moments, the things that make it just feel hard, <laughs> that's when you just simply Da, 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 reach into your jar of awesome and you pull out one of those pe pieces of paper and you read it and it's literally like, <laughs> it sounds so simple, I know, but it's, it's one of the best ways to remind yourself that this is why you're doing this. This is why you keep showing up. This is why you keep putting one foot in front of the other and doing the work and remembering that this is a process and not a product. And reminding yourself to love the process, even on the hard days. So, and also, you know, obviously this doesn't just work for improv, but of course it works for life. <laughs> so when you have a really good positive moment in life, you know, maybe you got that promotion, maybe you, uh, I don't know, um, went through a, a big, I, moving, oh, moving's the worst. And then you write down, ah. Oh, we finally got the house, or we found the perfect apartment. Here's the date that it happened, right? Just like these tiny little things that turn into sort of just a glossing over of memories. Now make them specific. So you don't just gloss over it anymore, but you're actually investing in the positive moments. That's my improv tip. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this helps not only with improv, but also with life. Thanks, guys. Hey, friends. Thanks for checking out the video. And uh, if you want to hear a little bit more, check out one of these two quality videos. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and follow us on social media. All the links are in the description down below. And let me know what you would like to see an improv tip about. Thanks for watching.